Wow. I just saw Creed 3 at the early screening, which it's kind of interesting that we're getting so many of these early screenings for movies because um, they're really not that early. They're like literally like two days early, like because tomorrow they do the normal Thursday preview showings that they do for all the big movies. And then you can go watch it on Friday, the official date that the movie releases, right? So like it's not even that early. It was very nice to see this though early, I guess. And, uh, man, that theater was packed. The front rows were sold out. Like, every seat in that theater was sold. I think I only counted, like, one seat that was empty. I did not know people were this excited for this movie because I remember watching Creed 2 in theaters. And I love Creed 2. Don't get me wrong. I love the movie. I haven't seen it since it came out. I definitely should rewatch it, but, um... That theater was not full. The I didn't hear a lot of people talking about that movie. Uh, the box office for that movie wasn't bad, but also wasn't great. And it was just like, whew. I, I kind of just assumed that after that one, it's like they're going to do this last one. Uh, or maybe this would be like the last one. And then they announced Sylvester Stallone wasn't going to be in this movie. And I had hesitance about this movie going into it because... They announced this was going to be so, uh, uh, no Sylvester Stallone, first Rocky movie without him. Not that they couldn't do a Rocky movie without him, but it's like, who really knows, right? And then you got, um, uh, then you got, you know, the fact that Michael B. Jordan was directing. And the thing is, like, you know, I was optimistic because Sylvester Stallone directed Rocky movies and that worked really well. So I like to see what Michael B. Jordan can do, but also, He's never directed a movie before, so I don't really know how to feel about that. So I just kind of had all these feelings. Uh, but I saw a trailer for this movie, and it, it looked good. It looked very strong, very promising. You got Jonathan Majors, who's just on a roll right now with Ant-Man and stuff, as Kang, you know. And so seeing him in this movie is pretty cool. Very and Both villain roles, but very different types of villains. One's very wordy and very hammy, that being Kang. One's more silent and stoic and a lot less pronounced, you know. And so it kind of shows his range of an actor. But, um, yeah, needless to say, after this movie, I fucking love this movie. And a lot of that has to do with Michael B. Jordan's direction. Because, yeah, like, this movie is so insanely well directed. That final boxing scene, the stuff and visuals and... The way he puts that thing together, the cinematography and some sequences in this, in this movie is off the charts. This is one of the best directed movies in the franchise. Maybe not the best, but definitely one of the best directed movies in this franchise. The action and the boxing is incredibly hard to watch at times. And it's also nice to see a Rocky movie in, in this franchise where... You know, the guys at the end of the fight are able to kind of leave the door open for future possibilities in ways that, you know, the previous Creed films didn't. And I'm not going to say much more about that because it does feel a little bit at the conclusion of the movie, but I think you should watch it. Um, yeah, the cinematography was great. Um, the performances were all amazing i mean I, I think you all were already aware of that stuff one thing that i doesn't think gets talked about enough is the soundtracks to these movies are so good and every movie i think each soundtrack gets a little bit stronger and keeps you in the mood and makes you feel the emotions you're supposed to be feeling and more throughout what, from, from that and that is just powerful and it just this movie is just awesome all around it does everything it needs to do it keeps you Engaged the whole time. And this is another Rocky movie where I got to... I was checking my phone. And I don't check my phone during movies a lot. But I was just checking because I, I had my ride coming. So I turned on my phone for a minute. And I looked at the time and I realized... Oh, there's only 10 minutes of this movie. That means the final 10 minutes was just the boxing match. So we had all this movie before that. It was just, It was just character stuff. Throughout that uh, almost two hour runtime, just character stuff. 
and and I didn't even feel it at all. I didn't feel that. I just sat in that theater for two hours watching these character stuff, and then that last ten minutes, you know, those fists came up. And that is what's really neat about this movie, you know. And I think the best Rocky movies are character dramas, first and foremost, before they're about boxing. You know, famously in the first Rocky, he loses, you know, which is not what you expect from a movie like that because we've been trained and conditioned to think certain things about these types of movies. But um, but what's beautiful about that, though, is that watching this movie is just remind you of the best of the franchise and it's just so good and shockingly good because i didn't expect you know if i if, if i saw you know michael b jordan's direction i did not expect it to be as good as well put together as it was it was just some truly incredible visuals and sequences in the sh movie and yeah i just wow and i'm i don't know i'm curious to see if they actually are going to set up his daughter uh, to be a future player in this franchise as someone who, you know, is death. That'd be a very interesting uh, franchise that when Michael Boy Jordan's kind of moving along, what if we had um, his daughter instead passing the torch along? I don't know. That'd be interesting, especially since the character is death and they use sign language. I don't know how well that would work out, but I'm curious. That's just something I was thinking about during the movie. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Creed 2. Or not Creed 2, Creed 3. This is just... God damn, man. This was awesome.